Hello, prehistoric kingdom friends. So we have the dev diary for October 2023. There is three things that we really have to talk about in this dev update and we're going to jump into it right now. So the first big thing is update 8 is now in a public test, which means if you go to prehistoric kingdom, open up your game and then expect to play it and the update be there, then you'll be sadly mistaken. What you have to do is you have to opt into the public test and there is a little bit of tinkering you have to do in the back end to get that to work. But don't worry, I'll put out a video about that a little bit later on. So I will link it in the description. You guys can go if you're really struggling and you're thinking, where's the Velociraptor? Why is this not working? Do not fear, there will be a video put out for that. But I just wanted to address that this is a public test. And essentially what that means is you can opt in to play update eight and give feedback back to the developers and say, hey, this is really amazing. Actually, this doesn't really work the way I expected it to, or maybe your animals are acting really strange. This is all vital information for Prehistoric Kingdom to take on board, for them to tinker it. In a couple of weeks time, they will release update eight into the main base game of Prehistoric Kingdom. So if you don't want to test these things out, then it's completely up to you. There's no like good or bad if you do want to test it or not. They have noted that some things might not be backwards compatible, but again, we'll talk about all that in another video. So that's update eight. It is now available for you to test out and play. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about it, because I certainly had a lot of fun testing out a couple of features, which we will speak about soon. So now we've spoke about update eight, let's now talk about update nine, which we are actually getting a new species. So this is the Carcharodontosaurus and a lot of people are probably thinking, Gemma, how did you manage to pronounce that one? And not only is it written out here, which, you know, thank you Prehistoric Kingdom, because this is like a massive bonus for people who struggle with pronouncing dinosaur names. I'm definitely one of those people. And um, having this like spell out for you is so, so, so good. So the Carcharodontosaurus is actually one of my husband's favourite dinosaurs. So this one is like a massive thing for me. Really excited to see it. Really excited for him to see it as well. He's not seen it yet. Um, but yeah, best known for its shark like teeth and impressive tall stature. One of the largest theropods to ever roam the earth is coming to prehistoric kingdom in update 9. We'd like you to meet the one and only Carcharodontosaurus. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, she is a queen. I am so excited to see this in game and build for it. It is just an absolute, I can't say mammoth of a dinosaur, but she is, she's beautiful. We've also got this really stunning picture of the Carcharodontosaurus there as well. Look at the arms, look at the colour, oh, just absolutely gorgeous. These will be really good with mutations as well. Really excited to have these in game. Following on from that, we have an update 10, which is going to be a new species. So update 10 will be a particularly exciting time for the game, introducing a completely new building theme, a new map and two mammals that we would think you're really going to love. That's right, more mammals, which is something what we love to see. The first of which is none other than the cave lion. This creature is one of our absolute favourites thanks to their streamlined mane and thicker coats that give them a different look to their African relatives. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Man, that is one fluffy cat. So there's going to be two versions that are getting added to the game for the Panthera. Uh, there's going to be an alternative species as well. And yeah, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So really excited to have that coming to game. So while the team was developing update eight, they came across some bloomers and they've managed to put them here. So we have got, this is hilarious. I absolutely love that. I kind of want this just to be added to the game as like, as a standard thing, because I think that's amazing. Uh, we have got <laughs> like a kickflip going on here. That's awesome. Uh, this was like, I thought that was my park when I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's no, that's not my park. But I love the Wild West like shoot out. That's amazing. We've got a massive mammoth. That is a mega mammoth. That's looking uh, hilarious. Again, bloomers, but probably should be added to the game because they're fantastic. Uh, we've got some Brachiosauruses with some very interesting 
derpy textures uh, going on here that looks like they need to go to the doctors to get some sunscreen going on. Nasty. Uh, Brachiosaurus again, having a little dip. Interesting. This guy. <laughs> um, this one's great as well. I mean, I don't know how that happened. So let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying Prehistoric Kingdom Update 8. And if you like this video, remember to like the video and I'll see you in the next one.